Rensselaer High School parents are speaking out after their children were forced to stay on a bus during Friday night's tornado warning. News 18's Kayla Sullivan reports cheerleaders had a chance to go inside a safe building, but they were told to stay on that bus. Kayla, what do we know why that happened? Well, we don't know why, and parents are afraid they won't get to because the people involved weren't at a meeting this morning. Principal Andrew Jones, athletic director Kenneth Hickman, and cheer coach Caitlin Heilman were the ones in charge on Friday, but Superintendent Ned Spiker found it best to hold the meeting without them. It's a call no parent wants to get. It felt to me like she was telling me goodbye. She said, I love you. Tell Aaliyah that I love her and kiss the baby for me. She said the coach was blocking the door. She can't. She won't let him off. I told her to use the emergency exit. That's what it's for. For reasons still unknown, the Rensselaer cheerleading squad was told to stay on the bus as tornado sirens went off during Friday's football game at Twin Lakes High School, even though the football team and the rest of the crowd were safe indoors. A mistake's been made. We will do everything we can to rectify it. Superintendent Ned Spiker says policy was not followed during the warning. He listened to cheerleaders and parents' complaints at a meeting Monday morning, but decided not to invite the school officials involved. I did not realize it was going to be with the superintendent, and so I was a little frustrated with that. Parents say athletic director Kenneth Hickman told the girls that they thought it was illogical to stay on the bus. They could turn in their uniforms on Monday. I won't let my daughter quit. Um, I don't know how the other parents feel. My daughter was not one of the ones who was getting screamed at in her face. And but Clapp's daughter was. She says Hickman yelled at her daughter for jumping off the bus and going into the school. So badly that somebody had to pull him away to tell him that it's not right. Citing privacy laws, Spiker says he won't be releasing information about punishment, but even so. I don't know that there is any punishment that could ever give you back that sense of safety. Spiker stresses he will be taking concerns seriously and assures this won't happen again. Kayla Sullivan, News 18.